<sighs> another day, another movie to watch. What could I watch today? Hmm. Simon says nostalgia. Damn it! It always gets me! I. Computer, what do you want me to watch? You should watch Franklin and the Green Knight. What? Franklin and the Green Knight? Why, I haven't seen that movie in forever. Would it even be safe to talk about that? I think you should go for it. Well, whatever floats the boat. Hello there and welcome back to Movie Fridays. I had to bring the season back somehow. Not like all the theaters are shut down or anything. Okay, let's cut the nonsense here. I am going to be truthful and honest with this. Nostalgia can be a pain. Like, they can come sneaking right towards you out of nowhere and then BANG! Now, probably some of you are going to come in and be like, Oh, is he just going to rewatch this and pick fun at it just because it was something from his youth and want to see how far he can ruin it? I wasn't. I'm just here for straightforward, here's what I think of this type of movie Friday. So yeah. In rewatching Franklin and the Green Knight, oh boy. It's sometimes it's like one piece of moments here and there in the movie that just make you just think back and just... You just remember the scene fondly or you remember just like that one certain part in your life. I mean, Franklin obviously was that one part. I was familiar with the TV series. I was somewhat familiar with the books. And of course as the subject of this week's movie Fridays, I am familiar with Franklin and the Green Knight. And for his first feature-length film, it's honestly really good. Franklin is a turtle who is expecting a new sibling. On one side, he's super excited to see them and for him to be the best big role model to look up to for the younger sibling. Ordeal. And then the other side is he's worried that his parents are going to focus on the newborn than they are on Franklin. That is until one night Franklin is read the tale of the Green Knight, the frog creature that travels out into the forest to find some mystical blossoms and send them to the snow areas, bringing spring to the village. This gives him the idea to travel out into the forest and even find the blossoms himself. Well, also his best friend Snail tags along with him, mimicking his book and... Actually... That's really it. That's as simple of a children's film as you can get. It's obvious that you shouldn't pick fun on something that you really love as a young kid. I mean, it's kind of potato-potato with some stuff. People may do it to this, people may do it to that, but some other cases, almost not possible. Yeah, it's just... I can't harp on this movie too much. This... I watched this numerous times and like when I was in preschool, or even in elementary school, even one point in middle school, it's it's a tricky thing to get away from. But what can you do of a film that you absolutely loved, which is based off of a TV show that is based off of a series of books inspired by a line from an episode of M.A.S.H. I'm not kidding when I say that, it actually did happen. But there is just about 
nothing negative that can be said about this. It's a straightforward family film. Good characters, um, good story, good songs. There's like three of them in here, and the backgrounds look beautiful and well detailed. Shout out to the original artist that made the backgrounds for this. Is it a good movie? Yes. Is it a movie that children can watch? Yes. Is it worthy of me watching this movie and reviewing it as a season two premiere of Movie Fridays? Um... Yes, it was. It definitely brought back fond memories and nostalgia of a show once forgotten uh, by time. But in re-watching something like this, you reflect back and like, yeah, this was a good one. To view this movie legally, there are digital platforms it is on to rent, but as weirdly as it sounds, the entire feature is up on YouTube for free by Treehouse. I'm not kidding. The whole movie, the entirety of Franklin and the Green Knight here, is all available digitally to see for free on YouTube. I am not making this up. I will link down below, or if it's possible, a card up here to the original movie and yeah, that's about it. Questions for this week. If you have seen Franklin and the Green Knight or you have fond memories of the Franklin the Turtle series as a whole, whatever your thoughts are, leave them down in the comments and I'll see you next week for an all new episode. So, so long.